Okay, so this student peer evaluation sheet is really all about about organization. Okay, and by that I mean, you know, the nuts and bolts, the fact that you have to explain the background to your reader, the fact that you have to support an argument that you're going to make about whether felons should vote or not, including somebody else's opinion against yours and countering that, summarizing what you've said, and talking about the significance. That's what this is all about. This is a, this is an argument paper. It's a little different than a critique paper. It's an, so, we're talking about supplying the background for your reader. They may or may not know anything about Fallon voting, so you have to provide them the background about it. And that's what I did those other screencasts about, was showing you how other writers did it. Remember, we want both sides, right, of the argument. Then, I have to ask you, and you have to tell your reader, where do you stand? Where do you stand? After these background paragraphs. Three to five sources. So you've got the original pro-con site. You've got the do now site from KQED. -E and then ones that you find. After you have done the supporting paragraphs, after you've done the background paragraphs, then you have to do the naysay or counter. And a naysayer is simply someone who says no to your argument. And the counter is you responding to them. What you want is, you want a good opponent. And you want to have a good counter to what they say. You never leave their, their argument unopposed. So, <clears throat> this part right here is something we've done before. This is what we've done in the two summaries that we've already written. Just tell them what you told them. That's all you have to do there. And this last section is probably one you're not familiar with. After you've done all of this, okay, and you think you're done, you're not. Because <clears throat> you really need a little bit more. You need to talk about why your argument is significant. You know, if you're against giving felon vote, felons the vote, then you have to say, what is the significance of that? What are the consequences that might come from that? You know, why is it a good argument? And of course, if you think that felons should get their rights back, then you have to explain why that is significant. You know, why your argument is significant. That's what we mean by the so what. So just to wrap up the, the so what part, your argument is done, but you still have to tell me why your argument is significant. Why is it such a good idea to argue the way you have? What are the consequences of it? Is it public policy? Is it common sense? Is it just a good idea? Uh, in, in some way that uh, it hasn't come out in the other arguments. Just, this is where you get to, you know, it doesn't have to be very long, but it does have to uh, be a way to let your, your argument shine a little bit more.